Do you know why bees die after stinging? The truth is that this doesn't happen to all bees. It's primarily an issue with honeybees. Honeybees have barbed stingers. Imagine a fish hook. Once it's in, it doesn't come out easily. When this bee stings, the barbs get stuck in your skin. When it tries to fly away, the bee tears away part of its abdomen and internal organs. This makes me wonder, does the bee know it will die if it stings you? Maybe it's less likely to sting if it knows. Although bees don't have the intellectual capacity to understand death, their behavior and anatomy suggest they don't realize they're going to die. Their barbed stingers are designed for insect skin, not mammalian skin. But how dangerous are their stingers? From 2011 to 2021, an average of 72 people died every year in the USA due to wasp and bee stings. The number of deaths ranged from 59 in 2012 to 89 in 2017. And get this, 84% of those deaths were men. Most of the time, the effect of a bee sting is just a local reaction. You feel pain, swelling, redness, and itching. Their stinger is attached to a venom sac, so even after the bee flies away, the stinger keeps pumping venom into you for several minutes. That's why it's super important to scrape the stinger with your fingernails. But don't use tweezers. This can release more poison into your skin. Applying ice to the sting site helps reduce swelling and pain. But if you or someone else gets stung and is allergic to bee venom, double the attention is needed because it can lead to anaphylaxis. It can be fatal and needs immediate medical attention. So acting quickly can save a life. Call emergency services immediately and identify symptoms like difficulty breathing, swelling, and rapid heartbeat. Lay the person down and elevate their legs to help with circulation. Monitor vital signs and breathing until help arrives. Unlike us humans, bees can't count on medical help after a sting. But don't be fooled, even though they die, they can still cause problems because when a bee stings, it releases an alarm pheromone. This smell is like an emergency alert that says, Houston, we have a problem. Other bees smell this and come flying in, ready to defend the hive. Yes, they don't sting because they want to, but because they feel threatened. But did you know that not all bees sting? There are stingless bees that, well, don't sting. Instead, if something bothers them, they bite. But is it possible for a bee not to die after a sting? Hmm, maybe. Even though bees usually die after stinging due to the barbed stinger and subsequent abdominal rupture, other species of bees like bumblebees and carpenter bees have smooth stingers and can sting multiple times without dying. Those are the ones you really need to watch out for. If you enjoyed this video, YouTube thinks you'll love the next one. Click here.